How do crypto banks function and what are they? As regulators and blockchain companies progressively collaborate, cryptocurrency institutions are becoming a reality. When the fiat and cryptocurrency economies converge, great things are in store. How do crypto banks function and what are they? When first introduced, Bitcoin made the grandiose claim that it would enable people to become their own bank. Understanding the many services that banks actually offer will also help you see how absurd this assertion was in 2008, when it was made in the white paper for Bitcoin. The grandfather cryptocurrency is still outside of mainstream finance more than 10 years later, but the decentralized industry it gave rise to is capable of replicating many financial services that were previously only available through institutions on the blockchain. DeFi is it banking? The term, decentralized finance, DeFi, has gained popularity recently. Blockchain can offer a cryptocurrency alternative to conventional banking services by connecting people to new decentralized lending, exchange, savings, and other DeFi platforms. As a result, those who feel comfortable operating in this ecosystem can use their assets with more fungibility. Be clear. DeFi is not banking. It only mimics banking duties and is still unable to offer security, which is the other thing that banks are valued for. There are a lot of businesses operating in the cryptocurrency world that call themselves banks, but almost all of them would struggle to uphold that label in a regulated environment. They use this terminology because it suggests a degree of safety and regulation found in the larger financial world, which their product is most likely to lack. Because of this, these applications cannot take deposits or withdraw money to a bank, which is a warning sign. There are no investor protection plans that cover the tokens in the event that a smart contract fails, nor do they mitigate the liability through judicial precedent. The few cryptocurrency banks that exist today are merely footnotes to laws that have not yet taken full effect. However, they do exist as teams from both ends of the finance industry have developed blockchain solutions and as regulators start to gain more knowledge about the revolution that is at their doorstep. Crypto banks, and they carry out the usual range of financial transactions like deposits and withdrawals, savings, loans and borrowing, and investing in a variety of instruments and markets. While this exactly describes a traditional bank as well, cryptocurrency has been incorporated into these financial functions by crypto banks. In the eyes of regional financial watchdogs, they have also acquired legitimacy. Having a tolerant regulatory climate and having enough local talent to produce mature, reliable solutions are blockchain's two main challenges. Businesses and organizations holding fiat money and assets backed by fiat money can easily participate in the decentralized economy through a crypto bank in countries with progressive policymakers, such as Germany. These types of crypto banks, like Bitwala and Spot9, are basically the foundation for what will eventually be a bridge connecting the segregated fiat and crypto economies. Bitwala is governed by Germany's Federal Financial Supervisory Authority, and like other banks controlled in Germany, its savings are covered by the German Deposit Guarantee Scheme up to €100,000 $113,000. Store money in both fiat and cryptocurrencies without any problems thanks to its partnership with Solaris Bank, a bank regulated by the European Union. A compelling but fruitless imitation many of the biggest centralized cryptocurrency companies are able to provide bank-like services for other enterprise-level businesses, even in the absence of regulations, thanks to the special powers of blockchain finance. For the time being, these companies are basically investment funds in the United States because the Securities and Exchange Commission has not yet indicated that they can integrate with the banking system. One of the most sophisticated instances is Coinbase custody, but it can only pretend to be a bank while waiting for regulators to approve. To legally invest fiat into the tokens available on Coinbase custody, serious investors and businesses that wish to operate in full view of tax authorities and regulators will need to complete the required reporting tasks. Large investors in the cryptocurrency market can take advantage of segregated cold storage while also benefiting from seamless interaction with the Coinbase Pro Exchange, deposit protection, available staking tools, customized reporting, and third-party auditing. Expanding BTC institutions globally What does Coinbase's custody system lack? For residents of the United States, Coinbase offers reliable exchange and storage, but neither bill payment nor wage receipt can be done from a Coinbase account. Cryptocurrency can be used to pay for movie tickets in the US or to reimburse a buddy who bought them by sending money to their bank account. A person must first withdraw Bitcoin BTC, for instance, and have Coinbase transfer it to a connected bank, which will then send it to the user's own bank. This is so that fiat and cryptocurrency can be converted into one another without obtaining regulatory permission, but fiat and cryptocurrency do not fall under the same definition of money as it relates to banks.
it is obvious that more challenges lie ahead. While cryptocurrencies will undoubtedly play a significant part in the development of payment rails, we think they will complement rather than directly compete with the current systems. Our well-established payments business will be crucial in facilitating this acceptance. It becomes increasingly clear that attempting to integrate cryptocurrency into the existing financial system is akin to trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. The most cutting-edge platforms are working extremely hard to make entrenched competitors and regulators obsolete, but they neglect the fact that one of the five characteristics of money that crypto lacks due to transferability. Although authorities are able to stall transferability, tokens have mastered scarcity, durability, divisibility, and fungibility. This is why cutting-edge platforms like MyCryptoBank.io allow users to use fiat-pegged stablecoins for free cross-border transactions, spending, and investing. However, there is an issue as soon as a user chooses to hold real USD or stocks, rather than blockchain derivatives. The movement of cryptocurrencies can be stopped by regulators, and they can also make it difficult for people to use their own money for their own goals or even convert it into fiat currencies. More of a label than a word, Banking people want to be able to spend their money on anything and everything, not just 90% of it. Derivative assets are shakily stacked debit card solutions based on shaky alliances are insufficient. Recent McKinsey research supports this. Without regulatory approval, all blockchain finance is vulnerable to the 3-5 to five day settlement time of the underlying fiat market. Payments could be made and resolved via blockchain in minutes as opposed to days as with current systems, the report claims, if counterparties were to exchange cryptocurrency assets, digital currencies that do not need a central regulating body, rather than fiat currencies for example. Slower progress is more important than faster progress when it comes to the goal of achieving general acceptance of the value storage and transmission capabilities of cryptocurrencies. Integrated economies with the most tolerant financial regulations will reap the greatest benefits as cryptocurrency gains traction in the ensuing years. It is fair to assume that widespread acceptance is still a ways off given that the oldest cryptocurrency is still on the periphery of finance. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.